FYI, it is 106 degrees now. I don't know if I want to do 106 degrees on a motorcycle again. Uh, good morning everybody it's cruise man the uh, TFT screen on this BMW says it's 434 a.m. but it's actually 534 a.m. I'm not sure where it's getting the time I think you have to set the time in the settings somewhere and I haven't done that so it still thinks it's 434 but it's not it's 534 so as you can see I've got my navigation working again I have no idea why but it it is working this morning for now um, the radio is off I'm trying to you know I'm learning this uh, interface and it's taking a little bit of effort because I'm used to a different interface but I think if I go over here I can turn the radio back on. I'm not sure why it's turning itself off. Okay, right now there is no Sirius XM signal. That's okay. We should pick it up later on the road. So let's go back. Okay. Um, like I say, it's uh, it's taking. It, it is a learning curve, but the sun is just starting to come up. I want to get on the road early. I've got another long day today, long for me. It's about 380 miles to Midland from Socorro, New Mexico. So let's go. first few miles I think are going to be on Interstate 25 South and then I will pick up Highway 380 East. Might have a chance to check out these headlights a little bit. It's uh, not completely dark out but I mean, this new uh, 2022 model does have all LED lighting. I think that's a new feature for this year. Okay, we're coming up on our very first exit. This is going to take us to uh, 380 East which will take us all the way to Texas, all the way to Plains, Texas, which is in the Panhandle. And I will uh, then be connecting with, I think it's a Highway 214 South, I'm not sure, but it's a small play, a Texas highway. But uh, US 380 uh, will go all the way from New Mexico into Texas and even all the way to Dallas-Fort Worth if I chose to. But I'm going to head south and go to West Texas to spend the night, one night with my brother, so I'm deviating a little bit. In fact, I was going to go 380 east all the way to Dallas-Fort Worth, but I couldn't find a hotel. All the hotel rooms were booked solid um, because in that part of the country where I would need to stay, it's all oil, you know, the oil business and the oil... The oil companies uh, just block all the rooms. They take up all the rooms. So there were no, uh, no hotel rooms available. So the next time I talk to you will probably be, uh, I don't know, maybe in Roswell, because I will be going through Roswell, New Mexico. 
and uh, the sun still is not up yet we can see some mountain range here in the distance not sure what mountains those are well I've talked a few minutes already and I failed to introduce myself uh, I'm cruise man and welcome to day three of my moto vlog where I am riding this BMW K1600 GTL it's actually a brand new 2022 model I'm riding it from Riverside, California, all the way to Dallas-Fort Worth. And uh, for those of you that don't know me, uh, I am a Goldwing guy. I've been riding Goldwing since uh, 2006. And BMW has uh, loaned me this bike to test and review. So, as I told you in my previous videos, I don't plan to uh, actually do any review in the motor vlogs. I will tell you a few of the features as we go along, like I have about the dash and the navigation. But uh, I'll, I'll uh, reserve my review, give the bike a fair chance, uh, get some seat time in it so I have a fair uh, opportunity to, to talk about it. But, you know, I've always said when it comes to my YouTube channel, I don't really care what you ride. Uh, I don't care if you ride a Harley or a BMW or a Honda, a Goldwing, a Africa Twin. I don't care if you ride a Grom. If you're passionate about motorcycles, I still appreciate it if you take a time to click that little subscribe button down below. And don't forget to click that notification bell. And that way YouTube will let you know when we come out with new videos. Now, a lot of my content or some of my content is Goldwing specific, but not all of it. But most of it does pertain to motorcycles unless I get off on some kind of a rant or I start uh, deviating and talking about giving you my opinion of the world, which you really love, I'm sure. So thanks for joining me today on this. Actually, it's a cool morning right now. It's 67 degrees. I can't believe it. As soon as I got outside of Socorro, the temperature started to drop. Um, I better enjoy this 67 degrees because <laughs> it's going to get warm later today. It'll be over 100 degrees by the time I get to Midland. The speed limit here is 55, and you might be wondering why I'm only going 57 miles an hour. Well, that sign right there says why. My biggest fear when riding a motorcycle is wildlife. And early in the morning, this time of day when it's cool that's when the uh, the deer and the antelope like to play and they love to run right across right in front of you across the road I saw one yesterday on the side of the road he didn't he didn't cross the road so that's why I'm keeping my speeds at a low level if it was the middle of the day I'd probably be going 60 65 even though the speed limit is 55 Actually, the speed limit just kicked up to 65, so I might kick it up to, say, 60. But I still try to keep my awareness and uh, keep my hands ready on the brake and the clutch and my foot over the foot brake. You never know. You just never know. I've had it happen too many times where I've had some close calls. Knock on wood. Uh, the, the closest call I ever had was on the Blue Ridge Parkway. Um, Ricky was with me on the back on our, I think it was on the 2012 Goldwing, or no, I think it was 2007 Goldwing. And a huge wild turkey flew right in front of the windshield. It's a miracle it didn't hit the windshield, or I didn't hit it. And it was a huge, I don't know, I don't know if you've ever seen a wild turkey. Those things are big. And that would have, uh, that would have been a painful day.
in Plains, Texas. And there's Junction 214, it's a Texas highway, Junction 214 right ahead. I'll be turning south and I will be heading right into what feels like about a 30 mile an hour wind. I, yeah, I'd say at least 30 mile an hour wind, 20 to 30 mile an hour wind. It doesn't say. Yeah, I guess it is if I go by the map. On the screen, it did say to turn here. Yep, 214 South. Okay, I've got to put the visor down. Now you can see the flags. Okay, we're on our way to Seminole first. And by the way, I, I don't know if I mentioned earlier today that Lidlocks is sponsoring this video. And I want to thank Lidlocks for sponsoring this whole series of BMW K1600 videos because they do make Lidlocks for the K1600s. What do you do with your helmet when you park your bike at a restaurant or at a bike event or even at a friend's house? If you're riding a BMW K1600 like this one, you got a nice big fat top box where you can put the helmet and lock it away. Of course, that's assuming you don't have it all packed with other gear for a road trip. What do you do if you ride a bike that doesn't have a top box? Lidlock Helmet Locks offers a safe, secure, and simple solution. You can install Lidlock's Helmet Locks on just about any motorcycle, like I've done on this 2022 BMW K1600 GTL. Installation took less than 10 minutes. I did it in a hotel parking lot. And to lock up my helmet, I simply slipped this helmet hanger through the D-ring on my helmet, insert it into the lid lock's body, and press that lock button. That helmet ain't going anywhere until I unlock it with the provided key. Oh, and by the way, I have had lid locks on my 2018 Goldwing for several years. So check out lidlocks.com. Well, welcome to Seminole, Texas. Population 6,430. I didn't know it was that big. Now, those of you that are not from Texas, I just killed the bike. See, I'm not used to this manual transmission. So those of you that are not from Texas probably do not know how Seminole got its name. You might think it was from the Seminole Indians. Well, you'd be wrong. You had the Knolls that moved here, I don't know, 1650, I don't know when they moved here. And then you had the uh, the lesser class, the semi-knolls. And uh, the semi-knolls rose up, killed all the knolls, and named the town Seminole. So that's your uh, Texas lesson for the day. And if you believe that, I've got some beautiful oceanfront property in Carrollton, Texas I'd like to sell you. I am not getting navigation instructions through the helmet. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. If you're a K1600 guy and you're familiar with the BMW Motorrad Connected app, uh, please put it in the comments down below. How do I get the audio navigation through the helmet? I'm also not getting the waypoints. It'll give me turn-by-turn -turn directions on the screen, but it doesn't, any waypoints that I put in in base camp, it does not display those or include those in the map. So let me know what I'm doing wrong. I'm still learning. Okay, we are about to turn onto, I think, State Highway 176. One, yeah, I've never even heard of 176. This must be a new highway. Looks new. I don't know. I've never heard, never heard of this one. 
Doesn't look any more exciting than 1788, which was uh, long, hot, windy, and boring. Okay, just ahead about a half a mile is where I do exit off to get on 349 and that will take me into my final destination for the day, Midland, Texas, in West Texas. FYI, it is 106 degrees now and um, I don't know if I want to do 106 degrees on a motorcycle again. Not fun. But at least, as they say, at least it's a dry heat. So we'll be turning to the right. If I went to the left, I'd be going to La Mesa. I don't want to go to La Mesa. I've been to La Mesa. I didn't lose anything there, so there's no reason to go back. As you can tell, this bike's got plenty of power. It does not lack for power. Okay, I uh, think I'm going to sign off. I want to thank all of you for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click that like button. That really does help our rankings with YouTube. I want to thank and welcome all my new uh, BMW riders to the channel. I know several of you have subscribed. I appreciate that. And uh, I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlog BMW K1600 where I ride from Midland to Dallas-Fort Worth.